presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Andy in Boulder, Colorado. Hey, Andy, what's going on, brother? How much, Tom? How you doing? I'm great, man. Yourself? Pretty good. Hey, congratulations on the grandbaby. Yes, thank you. I know. <laughs> he just said, Tommy just sent me a picture. I mean, it's gorgeous out right now. He just was taking him out for his first walk this morning. All He's right. growling and prowling already. Yeah, I bet. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. And, yeah, little grandbaby Tommy, that little tiger, he's really growling and prowling now. I told Tommy, we got to get him on. We're going to get him on. He's eight months old, man, and he is... A big dude in a loose mood. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials uh, down 162. Nah, up, sorry. Dow Industrials up 162, NASDAQ down 3, S&P's up 17 and a half, gold contract up $15, trading at 17.85 an ounce. You got silver up 56 cents, $24.44 an ounce, light sweet crude up 91 cents, $83.87 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year up one tick, trading 139.19. The 30 year down eight at 158.01 in King Dollar. King Dollar's down 147 ticks, 93.587. Euro at 116, the yen's at 114.28, and the British pound is at 138 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. This is going to be a replay, folks, of how we got to the highs and came off the highs. Now, this is going to get really intriguing, and what it is is this. So the S&P wants to test its high. I mean, it, it, the SPY is right next to it right now. The high is 454.05. We hit 452.73. Huge contraction of volume again, but guess what? My take, we're going we're gonna to test it because you, you're way too close to it. The contraction of volume is really cool too, man. So check it out. So Monday, we did 62 million shares. Yesterday, we did 46 million shares. We'll probably do about 45, 46 million shares today. You're going into the high, it had 42. And 42, of course, was a contraction of volume beyond belief. Then you came downtown with 165 million. Now, the replay that I'm talking about is this, that you had the SPY was up there, got into the highs, whereas the NDX 100 just never could make it on these counter trend bounces since, since we had come off the high. Same setup right now. What you have with the Qs, the Qs hit 376.56 today. They're 375. The bottom line is that they made it over the swing. Now, the swing that we made it over yesterday is, is crucial. It's a 374.04. Now, I don't, th I don't think we're going to get underneath that today. You know, we'll, we'll find out. I just, you know, if it comes down another buck, it comes down another buck. But that would be the benchmark that you're looking at. That's the failure. Volume-wise, okay, the contraction is also huge. Uh, last Friday, we did 40 million shares. Monday, you did 34. Yesterday, you did 29. We'll probably do 33 today. We're at 23 right now. Bottom line, you get the gist of it. There's more sellers than there are Well, there's not enough buyers. When we do a supply and demand equation, the bottom line is that it's going up, it's going light volume, and you got all the volume down the end. And this is, a, this is to me, this is going to be a, not only... Uh, we're in the correction. It's a monster trading range right now. I mean, and it's a monster too. That that trading range. Gold. Gold contract wants higher price. It's going to get interesting with gold, man. Gold is just getting, starting to get up ahead of steam here. We've done 166,000 contracts. You're fifteen dollars twenty cents, and that's not the number, folks. Okay. You know, bottom line is that what you're going to see here 
is that you have the equities that have been, you know, going up for a good, well, about a week and a half straight. Well, actually, it's two weeks. If we look at the GDX, GDX set in a low on the 29th of September at $28.83. That's at $32.85. And that's not going to have enough volume for an ABC structure in the way up today. They were, it was going into its B point niche, 25 million, only has 11. That's not enough. Let me go take a look at a few others. Ashante was also going into it. That's not going to have enough either. Uh, GFI was going into it. Let's see. Yeah, we need more volume, man, on all of them. They, they're still up, but you need more volume. Let's see. GFI. Yeah, they all hit it, too. Okay, well, the bottom line, we're going to need more juice there. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market. It looks to me like these babies bottomed out today. What we had out here is that the note and bond market came into its lows. You had tremendously lighter volume. Thus far, you rejected lower price. And, and you are at the bottom of the range. Um, you know, the 10-year, the we just, for the last three months, you went from 134.25. We hit 130.08 today and rejected it. You're up 130.20. If we take a look at the 30 year, you're going to see the 30 year is set up the same way. 30 year, the 30 year actually is always ahead of the 20, I mean the 10, the, yeah, the 10 year note. Uh, so what we have with the 30 year, 30 year right now is trading 158.03. And the 30 year had already come off its lows. That, that, had, that had hit a low of 157.03, goes all the way up to 160. Pulls back, bottom line, rejected lower price out here, higher volume, higher, higher prices coming at you. Now, good old King Dollar. What you have with King Dollar is this. What King Dollar has done here is that King Dollar is now in the lower trading range. And, you know, when you, once you basically, you break a trading range, you go top side and you come back inside that range, folks, that is a bearish occurrence, okay? And the number to keep your eye on a King Dollar is going to be 93,729. So we're only into it, you know, 100, 120 ticks. That's not a big deal. We get follow through tomorrow, it's going to be a big deal. Because what will end up happening then, you can't break them up, you're going to bust them down. And busting them down gets it into the price point of 89 on King Dollar. We get a question about the SPY, going to be a tree gap play. Oh, this is pretty cool, man. One, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Um, yeah, it can. One is, what, what does happen is this. These gaps, I talked about this before. When you, when you, you have a market that's gapping all, like we gap down, uh, then we gap down again, then we gap up three days. That, most of the time, okay, is a consolidation. That, that's, that's how you can pick up you're in a consolidation when you have gaps all over the place. Let me go look at the three Qs. And in the three Q's case, same thing. You know, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that they're three gap plays. And, and the reason is that normally if you get a three gap play, what you do is you're gonna gap down three times first, then you get back up. Uh, in this particular case, they're, they're just not big enough and wide enough. 877 877-927-6648. We have the uh, Dow Industrials right now trading up 157. NASDAQ is down 5. S&Ps are up 16 and a half. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. 
Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 134. We get the Nasdaq down 11. S&P's uh, up uh, 14. Let's go uh, inside the Dow Industrials and take a look at the strength versus the weakness out here point-wise. What you have point-wise, folks, is this. Putting uh, points into the Dow, positive points. You get United Health putting 67. Caterpillar 21. Travelers 18. Amgen 17. Taking away from it, Goldman minus 28. Big Mac, minus 16, and Salesforce, minus 15. Let's go over to Verizon. Verizon came in with some nice numbers, man. Uh, you're up a buck 17 with Verizon. So the low is 50, the high is 61. They pay a 4.7% dividend. Okay, so you come off the lows a couple days ago. This has been a straight line move down for six months. We went down from... 59 or oh, the 53. Oh, this is always interesting. You, you're going down, but it was a very small amount. Oh, I see what it's doing. Okay, so you come. This is interesting, man. We were coming into the, we were testing the, the low bar of March, and now, yeah, 5390 is the number you want to get out of here. We did the test. The test came in with 156 million versus 170 million. If you want to see a consolidation, uh, this is a very long consolidation, um, this is a good one to look at because what you're going to see here is that you almost came to the bottom of the consolidation. The bottom would have been $48. We got down to 50 And then I suspect, you know, you get basically another week like this. That's going to break the downtrend. That's saying you're going to go all the way back to the top end of this, and that's what's, what's paying a, a decent dividend. Uh, the bottom line is that they, they definitely came in with some numbers. Uh, Number-wise, this is what they did out here. Revenue-wise, they came in. They did that $32.9 billion, and they brought a dollar forty-one to the bottom line. Netflix, let's go take a look at Netflix. They came out with their numbers. That's trading down $13. Uh, that was up 20 last night uh, when they came out with their numbers. And this is just a sideways move. Uh, Number-wise on Netflix, here you go with the numbers. Netflix did uh, $7.5 billion and brought $3.19 to the bottom line. What's going to be interesting here, man, I'm not quite sure what Netflix is doing uh, on this next quarter, but they're telling us fundamentally that they're going to bring in $7.7 billion, but they're only going to make $0.81. Cents. So that's going to go down dramatically. Yeah, I guess they, whatever they do in the fourth quarter, every, every year that goes down. But... 
Uh, bottom line is that the, they came in with some big numbers also. They are, they are still uh, growth-wise. Look at, look at this growth, man. Watch this. This is... Uh, yeah. So growth-wise, they're still growing by 6.5% in the United States, 16% um, in Europe, Middle East, and Africa, 8% uh, in Latin America, 20% in Asia. <laughs> monster, just monster numbers. Some of the other higher... Oh, I know, Pinterest, right? Let's go take a look at Pinterest, because what, what we had happen in intraday is that you had Bloomberg come out saying that uh, PayPal has an interest in Pinterest, uh, a buy in them, and the bottom line is that the, the equity, you know, came off a bottom of 55, it's trading 63 right now, and what kind of numbers do these guys do? So Pinterest does 633 million per quarter, and they make money. They bring 22 cents to the bottom line. Now, as that went up, uh, the market didn't like what PayPal was doing, because check this out, PayPal, PayPal. PayPal is down thirteen and a half dollars. That has some volume. Didn't break its low, uh, swing low, but it has some volume. Uh, Alta Salon. Let's go take a look at Alta Salon. Alta Salon is down uh, seven seventy-five. This came out with numbers also uh, yesterday. This is a trip, man. Look, look at this. This equity yesterday went from uh, three ninety-eight to three hundred. I mean, three ninety-eight to three sixty. Uh, today you're laying out here at uh, 355 numbers here whoops come on okay so what do we do here we did 2 billion and brought uh, 456 to the bottom line not bad let me see the setup here pull this back and put it on a monthly Oh, well, you're at, yeah, that makes sense. You're at all-time highs. And if you want to see just, you know, bottom line is that you, you take a high out. Now, this is going to get interesting here. This is why. So watch this. I was talking about at the very beginning of the program, the aspect of how you get over a high with the dollar. It was a false break top side. You get back downtown. This is going to be a little dangerous for Alter, and this is why. You got over the high that was established out here in 2019 of 368. You're under it right now. And so being under it is like, okay, the next move, well, it's not that bad. It's 351. But you got to be careful with this, man, if, you, if you're stepping into this. Because that is, if you break that 351, then you could really get down to that high volume bar of uh, 269. So it is no doubt a very large number. Now, let's go over and take a look at this dollar. Well, actually, let's go take a look at silver first because silver stopped popping its head up yesterday. We're up 54 cents right now on silver. Silver is trading 68,000 contracts. Nice contract volume. Oh, and we finally did it, man. Look at this. Silver finally broke its downtrend, man. Yep, and we broke it with conviction. That's a beautiful thing. So silver's on its way now up to the $28.35. Uh, you get volume behind the move. You get wide price spread behind the move. You're up 54 cents. You get 68,000 contracts. Um, you know, you swing, you're right out at 24.95, man. Or 24.49 right now. This is a, this is a good setup, man. It's definitely a good setup. Uh, and I suspect that uh, we're going to see this run continue because, as I said a little bit earlier, a lot of these equities inside the gold market have already taken off. You know, percentage-wise. But what also happens inside the gold market, folks, is that I, I understand all of us look at percentages. Inside the gold market, um, the percentages, they can go down as fast as they go up. And I'm not saying that because of the aspect of I think they're going down. I'm just trying to get you straightened out as to what happens with gold and silver equities. So gold, gold and silver equities can go up 30, 40, 50 percent um, very quick. Well, here, I'll just show you. I mean, with, I, think, I think Ashanti's already up 50 percent. So we went from, well, no, fourteen dollars to, we just went up four bucks for a twelve. Well, that's that's what that's thirty percent in two weeks, you know. And I suspect this thing is on its way up to like twenty five, twenty six, and you're at nineteen right now. Once these things start moving, man, um, which I've talked about many times, the market is so small 
that it doesn't take much to really move them. Uh, Newmont still a still a problem child, man. I mean, look at look at this is this is like crazy. Newmont, uh, you know, just no one's buying it, man. You know, we'll, we'll find out what's going on there. It's down two cents, trading fifty six dollars ninety seven cents. Let's take a look at Barrick. Uh, Barrick is up six cents, and that needs bias too, man. Both both now the the and this would be this is a heads up for for us in the metal market that you have the two largest gold equities in the world can't catch a bid. Dow Industrials right now up 143, NASDAQ is down eight, S&P's up 14 and a half. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, down, up, rather, 130. NASDAQ's down 14. S&P's uh, up 13. Let's go to our man, Frank in Gloucester. Frank, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tommy. How are you? Beautiful I'm day today. I I heard I there yeah. I heard it's like seventy five in Boston, right? Well, not quite that high up here, but uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. So that's a beautiful thing. That's what they call an Indian summer up north, folks. It's a that's right. It's that's right. Totally so where it's before at. Before I take the dog, before I take the dog down to walk Long Beach, I have to ask you about Southern Copper SCCO. Let's, let's take a look. This is a beauty, man. Okay, so pictures, folks. The low in this is $48. The 
The high is 83. Now, at this price here, folks, folks, it pays a 5.48% 5 5 dividend. Uh, this company here takes in, let's give an idea, takes in 2.9 billion, and they're looking to bring $1.15 to the bottom line. And, you know, copper's taken off like a rocket ship, but if you want to see something that, I'm going to put this on a weekly that, you know, we've been talking about equities that kind of breaking down trends, you know, and the bottom line is that this one has in spades. I mean, when you take a look at this, um, you know, on a, you're at 65, 83 is game again. I mean, I, I don't think it's going to go over there overnight. You'll, you'll, get, you'll get some flack at like 76. And where, 70, where I'm going with 76, Frank, is the low of that last high. You can see that, you know, you get the juice. Okay. It looks like it's already basically building cause, you know, to get over the 66.64. I expect it's going to make it. The reason I expect it's going to make it, folks, is this. See the type of volume that we came into a swing? Last week we came into a swing with 7.8 million. One swing had 4.4. The big swing had 12.6 of the way down. All it has to do is make it over that area, and then you get action. And you know, the copper market, the way this copper market is trading, it looks to me like copper's going to go to new all-time highs. Right now... Yeah, and, and FCX looks the same way. It, it does. It does. And yeah. so picture this. The copper market yesterday, folks, on uh, uh, Monday, hit 483. Well, 482.30. 483 is the all-time high. This thing, the way this is set up, man, this could be in the, so we rejected lower price today at 459. It went to 474. If this is ever an ABC structure up, which it can be, man, it's a, uh, yeah. let's see, 82, 5, so what are you, we You're get, looking at a weekly for the ABC or? A daily. I get, oh. I, I get a daily. daily. This is okay. like, I know, it's insane. It's like, okay, so 5. We're talking about 78 cents. You got 60, 530, yeah, 532, man. And, you know, there's no reason that it can't do it, folks, because the bottom line is that these commodities, uh, they've gone up dramatically. The dollar's worth less money. You get a picture something. We are at, like, the dollar's been at all-time highs, and if the dollar pulls back, at all, which is pulling back today, these commodities are really going to move. Because you got to remember something that, you know, the commodities are priced on dollars across the world. You know, I think there's right. action there. So let's look, at, let's look at FCX also, Frank. So this is Freeport Mac Moran. Now, what happens with Freeport Mac Moran is really cool because they happen to be not only one of the largest copper producers in the world, they're also one of the largest gold producers in the world. So they're huh. looking to take in $6.2 billion this year and at 81 cents to the bottom line. And oh, look at the difference, though, man. Uh, see that 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 dividend's not there in FCX. So SCCO is a better deal, man. That, it's only seven yeah, tenths. That, yeah. That was my pick when I when I bought it a while back. That was, yeah. And you know these dividends, folks, add up tremendously. Yeah. Hey, this this is pretty cool. FCX is ready to basically break this consolidation. We're at 30, 30, 39 bucks is a break of the consolidation. We hit it today, but there's not enough juice in it. You break that consolidation, and Freeport Mac Moran's up to 46 bucks, man. So there's, there's some real action here. So, Frank, let me, let me ask you. Um, yeah. Price-wise, what do you see going on in Gloucester? What do you see going on with your friends? I mean, what's, what's the wrap out here? Meaning in terms prices, of real, real estate, you mean? No, just kind of prices in general. I'm trying. I mean, see, I think inflation's oh, in, but I, I want to get some yeah. feedback, man. <laughs> Everything, everything's going up, Tom. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The grocery store has empty, empty shelves. Uh, you know whether they can't get the things off the damn boats or, or whatever it is. I don't know. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, uh, some some people haven't caught up with it yet, but. Uh, the ones that have their prices are going up. Gas is always a little more expensive out here on Cape Ann, and uh, you know yeah. it's getting up there, uh, well over into the threes. And uh, <laughs> it yeah, it's, it it's, doesn't look good. No, I'm with. I asked Basil the same thing yesterday because we can get a, a flavor across the country. Because it's it's it, my take. It's here too. And I was, you know, it's interesting, Frank. We just talked about the grocery store. I was at the grocery store this morning, and that's exactly what what did happen. I was surprised at some of the stuff that were not on the shelves 
Um, and we know, you know, money-wise, yeah, th th these things are up. And th to me, these things are up big, not small. I'm, we're talking like 20, 22%, it seems like. I, I don't know now, where they get the 6%, you, man. You, you, can get the, you can get the store brands, but you can't get the uh, national brands. Yeah, yeah. Wild. My wife is complaining. She's she's been trying to buy corn for three weeks. There's no frozen corn. I, was, <laughs> I love it. See that we're gonna we're gonna get you, we're gonna get that one on YouTube because the way you and I say yeah. corn, Frank, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it. <laughs> hey, you have a great one, the safe one, man. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks so you much. Too. Bye bye. Let's go to John in Orlando. Hey, John, what's going on, brother? Hey, good afternoon, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Hey, how you been, man? I haven't heard that voice for a while. You been in hibernation? Yeah. <laughs> hibernation. Hibernation. Uh, I, I want to tell you, uh, I bought uh, a firm way in the 60s, like 67. Okay. And just got out two days ago with a lot of profit. Nice. That's 158. Or 158. Uh, I, I, want to, I want to look at it and see where to get back in. Okay, so you get a firm holdings, folks. Okay, they uh, basically they're looking to take in two hundred fifty-one million uh, per quarter. They're still losing money. Uh, what this company does, and this is where they they made a deal with Amazon. This is where you know you buy now, pay later. It's like a low, layaway deal. Um, you know, you're let's see, one thirty-eight. You're at one forty-eight, one thirty-eight. I mean, if it gets inside the one thirty-eight. What you have there is that, you know, the bottom line, it can go to the bottom of that bar, which is a monster bar. And I think that's the time when they did the deal with Amazon, probably. Um, just just wait till it gets me, down there and see if it breaks. Let me ask you, uh, I, I read an article and they're saying that this is like a disruptive kind of uh, uh, idea to way of uh, credit, the way we do credit in the future. Is that true, you think, or no? Nope, they've never been to South Boston or Roxbury or any main city, because let me tell you something, we were growing up, folks, we had people going door to door, selling you something, and you'd pay by the week. Then you had layaways. This is just a technology layaway. That's what it is. But that's, listen, that being said, it's a very lucrative business. And you know, uh, the bottom line is that when you're giving goods out, and uh, you can pay for them later, people get sucked into it, you know? So it's a good business. Yeah, yeah. It's a good business. All right. Have a great one, man. Great, Have Doc. a safe Thank one. You. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Uh, we're gonna, we have the Dow Industrials up 121, Nasdaq's down 19, S&P's up 11. We're going to have Gina Driscoll back. She's a candidate for city council in St. Petersburg. She also is a councilor right now, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
WTFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 122. We get the Nasdaq down 15. S and P's are up 13. Our uh, guest today, folks, is Gina Driscoll. G G Gina right now is a city councilor in St. Petersburg, Florida. She is running uh, as a candidate. We have uh, elections in two weeks. Gina has been involved in the hospitality business for a long period of time. She has an extensive record of community service, including uh, the Downtown uh, Neighborhood Association, the Downtown Business Association, the Central Ave Council. Gina, welcome to. T F N N. Hi, Tom. It's good to, see, to uh, hear you today. Absolutely. So tell us, why should we elect you back to the city council? We've made some great progress during my first term. I mean, we've made great strides in um, working toward creating more affordable housing. We're talking about the environment more than any other time in our city's history. And I've really been pushing environmental issues and um, you know just creating a better and more equitable economy for everyone great progress and i want to serve another term so that we can continue that what do you think are the biggest challenges in st pete right now right now the the number one challenge that we have is the lack of affordable housing that we have in our city and that's something that we're seeing nationwide you know st petersburg is not any different in that regard but we are really making some bold moves to increase the funding mechanisms and then also to take a look at our zoning and make sure that our zoning is matching what we need in order to create enough housing at different price points so everyone can live here. You know, I hear this a lot and, and the right across the country what has happened and, and I, I think it's a demographic deal but but I, I'd like to ask you this question because everyone keeps talking the aspect of housing there's no doubt about that that's there the zoning's no doubt about that but the amount of violent crime that we have in St. Pete is pretty big and you know is that the secret that's off to the side or what's what's happening with that it's really no secret it's another uh, top issue that people talk about in our city and that has gone up um, we have we've made some good progress with um, within our police department, bringing on the call team, which is a group of um, social workers who respond to a lot of those nonviolent calls that actually uh, sometimes do lead to violence. And they go and they work with the people and you know connect with that they need because a lot of the violence I think just stems from these domestic disputes that get out of hand and you know often it's not just a, a police officer that you need but someone who is in regular clothes who is trained to deal with these kinds of things and it's quite innovative for a police department like ours to incorporate something like this into their practice but it is showing some great results so far so that's just one example of what we're doing as a city to reduce violent crime. Yeah, you know what's it, interesting? The resources that they need. Yeah, and, and the reason I bring this up, what happened last night, folks, okay, there was a, a marital debate uh, because with the, and, and that wasn't brought up, and, and I, I totally understand 
the affordable housing and the zoning issues, which are totally important. But it actually blew my mind that it wasn't brought up because of the aspect we're a really small city. And, yeah, I understand that, okay, if the police department get involved and it's there, but the last three murders have been, like, over a parking space, man. <laughs> you know, so right, it's like right. it's, it seems yeah. like there's got to be some type of, you know, whether it's early education. I mean, there's, there's, there's something that's going on here that no one has a grasp on. And, and I'm not just saying in St. Pete, I happen to think it's, it has to do with there's just so many kids. Because I, when we were kids growing up, that's when violent crime was really big. Then it subsided and people think that as it subsided that all these departments are doing good. Well, my take is that all it really meant is that you had young, more, you have less young kids when the violent crime stopped when I was a kid. And I have more of them because we have more young kids that are between the 14 and 18 age, which, you know, it's, it's tough to get out of. So let's talk about um, the zoning. I know I heard I heard you the other night. Uh, um, it's great. I mean, and it's going to be a battle for all you for all you folks. There's no doubt about it. Uh, and what I mean by that specifically, folks, is that this is going on right across the country. I mean, everyone wants, you know, less wants more apartments, but if you have more apartments, you can't have a whole city with single family housing taking it up. So let's talk a little bit about that and talk about your ideas. We had a really great discussion on in one of our city council committees last week about missing middle housing and that's duplexes, triplexes, you know, small rows of townhouses that could be built within neighborhoods where you find a lot of single family homes. And if it's done in the same scale where it blends in with the neighborhood, then you know it allows us to create housing for more people because you have more individual units, but those also tend to be smaller and you know therefore they'd be more affordable for people. So on a lot where right now you can only build a single family home, if we change this zoning, you would be able to build a duplex. So that gives uh, the developer an opportunity to sell two homes at a lower price and ultimately you know in most cases they would make more money sure so then it's a win-win-win right yes and then you know but also someone could buy that and live in one and rent out the other and then they have a source of income as well from that rental income so it creates some opportunities that we don't have enough of right now and that's because so much of our city is zoned just for the single family homes with a city like st petersburg where we have a limited amount of land we really do have to start thinking about taking a different approach like this there's no doubt and you guys are doing a great job with that by the way i mean Thank and, you. and folks this is a very tough thing to do in any neighborhood you know let me ask you i was you know as you think this true sometimes you know we know that People always talk about affordable housing, and trust me, I've been in St. Pete for 27 years now. I was in Boston, in, in inner Boston, 25 years before that, and the conversation was still the same. And it always seems that it's very hard, no matter how much you try, the administration tries to get housing going. And I was thinking that, you know what, on some aspects, maybe another way of doing it is that, number one, that the city gets more involved, and what I mean by that, the city get more involved, that there is some kind of a stopping point on the amount of assessed value that goes on a house and the taxes that go on a house. Meaning that, okay, so let's picture that we have a family that they're working their butt off, you know, cops, firemen, whatever that is. Um, you know, they're at a certain level. Um, and the city turns around and says, hey, you know what, instead of going from $7,000 a year in property taxes to 8 to 10 to 12 as the city goes up, they just turn around and say, hey, listen, we're going to stay that at 7 um, and the city pitches in because that's always a cost that never stops, meaning the assessment as right. it goes up, you know. So it's just, it's just an idea to throw out there, but uh, it, it gets kind of unique, you know, uh, when, we, when, we, when we start looking forward. Well, listen, Gina, yeah. this was absolutely great. Appreciate you coming on. Good luck to Thank you, you. And I look forward to having you again. Thank you. So Thank you fine. so much. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials uh, up 119, NASDAQ down 16, S&P's up 12. We'll come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, down, uh, up, rather, 114. NASDAQ is down 16. S&Ps are up 12 and a half. And volume-wise out here, what you're going to have, folks, you're going to have short volume again. Inside the NYSE, yeah, you get seven. Well, we're at 509 right now. That'll do about 750. Inside the NASDAQ composite, we are at uh, 3.7. That's going to do about 4.4, 4.5. If we go composite and we look at the composite right now, um, doesn't say much. You're down 16 points. Your swing point. So your benchmark on this composite is uh, 15,085. You know, right now we're 25 points above that. Now we're getting dropped right down. But the bottom line is that if you get back inside of that, that's saying, hey, guess what, man? You're going to go right back to the bottom of this move. Inside the SPY, what you're going to have is that we're going to be testing all-time highs with tremendously light of volume. Look at this, man. You're up $1.20, and this is actually going to contract again, which is really hard, folks, because we contracted so dramatically yesterday. So watch this. On Monday, the SPY did 62 million shares as it moved higher. On Tuesday, you did 46 million. We're not even going to do 46 million today. It's going to be crazy, man. We're at 39. It should do, you know, it might do 40. That is about as wild as you get. And you can see the contraction as you go up to test the highs. Bottom line, that's saying we're going to be right back downtown at 426, and you're at five, and you're at 451. That is one monster deal, folks. And if you haven't done price and volume, just watch how it plays out.
okay? You don't have to do anything about it, but watch how it plays out. And you're gonna, it won't blow your mind. But the, it, 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 so what happens with price and volume is this. Picture, folks, if we were all inside a store and you saw prices go up for five weeks in a row, and the first time it was 1,000 people in the store, in the fifth week, there was only 100 people in the store, and they're saying, okay, guess what? You're gonna pay 30% more for the product. Would you do it? Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health happens and prosperity. Have a great night, a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off, 9 a.m. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Man, we'll get them, folks.